Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Monday, November 14th, 2022, the beginning of the new trading week. So let's find out what is going on on the Forex calendar today. As you can see, there isn't much uh, important event um, that might be very big market movers uh, for today. However, we got some other uh, events that will uh, generally uh, makes uh, a difference uh, during the market opening hour. We got the industrial production data from the European Union scheduled for release at 12 um, uh, p.m. Uh, as you can see, the industrial production is expected to drop from 1.5% to 0.3%. Plenty of speeches, plenty of people, ECB officials, German Buba officials, Bank of Canada governors uh, uh, will make some comments, will make some remarks uh, today as well. So it's worth to keep an eye on this kind of a, um, uh, uh, situations. And uh, that's about it from the economic data. We got the OPEC monthly report. Uh, from US, of course, scheduled for this at two o'clock. And despite of this, nothing really serious is being um, posted here. So the calendar seems to be, you know, a little bit low in important events. So maybe we should do the analysis of the majors. And I think we should start from the euro dollar. Euro dollar daily time frame chart uh, is moving just as expected after the first ABC pattern uh, completed around 1.0094 uh, we got the wave X as a connector now we have a big and strong wave A uh, to the upside it looks like we are uh, about to terminate this wave or we just terminated uh, because the 100% of the extension located at 1.029 uh, has been hit. The next target is eventually 127% extension located at 1.0398. So it's roughly 100 pips higher. And uh, if this level is hit, the, the wave A will be overstretched. As you can see, we are trading um, above the upper channel line so that's a kind of um, a bullish uh, signal for the market participants but the uh, daily time frame chart is showing us that the momentum has hit the extremely overbought conditions extremely overbought levels so it's time for a pullback the pullback might be in wave b and might hit even the level uh, sub parity levels like 0. like um, 9901 9879 this is the ideal textbook place for the wave b to be terminated and then of course we still need wave c to the upside please remember this developing here uh, ABCX, ABCX is a complex time consuming correction. This is not a new trend to the upside according to my scenario, according to the Elliott Wave analysis. So please stay focused, stay vigilant during the, uh, the market trading, uh, trading hours. So this is how it looks like on the four hour chart. A little bit more more clearer as you can see the parity level is black and right now we are waiting for the wave a to be definitely terminated not just a small pullback but deeper correction um, the technical supports are 1.0122 1.0094 so it looks like just around the parity will we, we, we can have a termination of the wave b and then wave c can be uh, done of course the wave c will be out of the channel so in that situation our channel will be uh, invalidated so um, the upper levels will be will be hit soon the target for the wave C might be even extended towards uh, 1.608 as a target um, uh, which is a really really you know uh, way above the uh, parity uh, level so that's the euro dollar let's find out what is going on on the British pound as you can see, the British pound is doing the similar thing as the um, as the um, euro dollar uh, ABC to the upside is done on the four hour chart. So what we now can 
um, can expect is uh, some kind of a correction as well however as you can see uh, right now we are doing just like um, eight hours pullbacks and then the bull still trying to move higher why because the momentum is on the four hour chart very very strong hits the oversold the sort of overbought market conditions however it doesn't want to go down yet it will sooner or later but we need to put some other targets for the wave for the wave c so 100 uh, 1.27 or 127 percent target is 1.1915 this is the target and it's in line with the technical resistance uh, of 1.1915 and just above the other technical resistance at 1.1890 so please keep an eye on this zone it looks like a very very uh, promising zone for a target uh, of the wave um, of the wave uh, wave C let me just put uh, let me just put um, my uh, rectangle here target rectangle so you can see that this is the this is the target and I will make it orange as usual so everyone can see yeah this is the target for the wave C potential target after the the extension so we need to stay focused stay uh, vigilant trading this market of course the levels uh, 1.17 1.1760 um, 1 are the technical supports right now the other supports are 1.1599 1.1622 this is still a corrective movement to the upside this correction is getting more complex and time consuming please be aware of the fact that the downtrend is still being um maintained uh, on the larger uh, time frames and what we are seeing here is the upward correction of the down trend the next market will be the us dollar to the japanese yen and the us dollar to the japanese yen uh, as you can see has hit our target for the wave c let's find out what's going on on the daily time frame chart as you can see on the daily time frame chart rsi is on the extremely oversold conditions right so we should expect a bounce target was hit even the extended towards 1.3932 uh, so that's the that might be the low uh, for the wave uh, c and please notice the fact that we should expect some sort of the bounce now um the downside movement might be in five waves okay so please please be uh, be aware of this that uh, the alternate count for this scenario is wave one or a two or b three or c so if the level of 145 is not violated before new low is made then there is a chance for a more impulsive decline in the US dollar to Japanese yen in form of the zigzag so we will have one two three four five connector one two three four five and then the uptrend will resume the market of the US dollar to Japanese yen is still in the up uh, trend is trading as you can see from the extremely overbought conditions to the extremely oversold so if the uh if the scenario is correct this is only abc correction to the downside how much did we made uh, in terms of the price range during this correction yes, so far of course so far we made 8.87 uh, percent and let me just zoom out to see yeah this is the biggest correction this is the biggest correction so far during this uh, let's say up move from here unless this is biggest let me just take a quick look here and this is only three percent as well 389 277 377 those corrections here was the the the, the those corrections here were all the same so i think that this is the um sorry this is the biggest correction uh, so far which means um that's completely different cycle right now we are in during this 8.87 percent move to the downside so we are in a corrective cycle it's about to be completed or extended to the downside because of the much 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 more impulsive nature of this of this decline but that's the alternate count on the us dollar to the japanese yen the next one is us dollar to the canadian dollar what is going on here on the daily time frame chart is quite similar to the situation we got on the us dollar to japanese yen we are still coming down okay so we got the 
failed bullish uh, engulfing pattern so um, that one is the, the correct one <laughs> the old one this one has failed and we got the bearish sandwich so we should push to the downside next target our blue, blue arrow 1.30 to 21 almost hit we missed this by the four pips so basically we can say that this level is or was hit uh, and now the levels of 1.34.94 will act as a technical resistance 1.3421 will act as a technical uh, resistance of course the level of 1.3392 will act as a technical resistance so please pay attention to these levels because only if those levels are violated we can say that the low for this correction is uh, has been completed and now we might reverse to the upside uh, of course we need to break above the short-term trend line on the US dollar to the Canadian dollar and then break above all of this technical resistance uh, levels behind in the background we are still trending up however this trend is not that strong as on the other US dollar related uh, markets so let's find out what's going on on the US dollar index at the very end of our uh, of our analysis so what do we have here just take a look guys we have the wave Y to the downside just as expected target was hit 107.26 new low was made at 106.25 so it's a 100 pips lower so we have a, an extension of the wave Y to the downside next target 105.78 no, not that far away uh, from now on the 50 pips so this is the next target however for our scenario all of the targets has been hit uh, already so please notice the fact that this is still the under the US dollar is still in the down uh, trend in the uh, sorry it's in the uptrend however we are now making the correction uh, to the downside uh, we broke below the uh, technical supports we broke below the targets however this complex uh, pattern might be uh, might be terminated soon when we hit the technical support for the y wave why please stay focused please stay tuned for the next five days of the trading i wish you uh, good um, trading setups happy trading and i hope we will see uh, each other tomorrow again so thank you very much for watching this video see you later guys bye bye